we're doing this whole channel thing and we've got all these cars and trucks and folks have been saying, hey, how about maybe some walk-arounds of the cars and trucks? I was like, oh yeah, you know, we have a Cuda and we have a Challenger and we have a Charger and um, we're not going to show you any of those because honestly we've broken them all. So this is a 1965 Ford F-350 Wrecker, so like a tow truck, but they called them Wreckers back then because, well, basically if they came to get you, you'd probably wrecked. <laughs> we got this truck um, about a year and a half ago. No, um, I think it was longer than that, wasn't two it? Two years ago? It's been a while. Oh, we're just both so young, it can't possibly be that long ago. Anyway, we got this truck from Tom's friend, Brian, who's, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I don't know how to talk. We got this truck from Tom's friend, Brian, who got it from his dad. Well, actually, his dad still owned it. His dad had bought it new in 1965, and he made five grand for it, which, like, is kind of a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Let's walk around the truck while we talk about this, this magnificent machine. Why don't we start with the interior alone? Alright. Let's open this door. So, it is the high performance Ford. If there is such a thing. It has one gauge. Everything is on there. You can see the odometer. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try and move you guys so you can actually see that. That is 32,000 miles, which is a pretty funny thing because this truck, even though the outside is weathered, has 32,000 miles on it. We reupholstered the seat. It has a cardboard Ford headliner, which I guess is typical for Ford trucks. It has a single uh, sun visor made out of cardboard and uh, gas tank behind the seat, good for safety. And uh, if you're going to open up that little door, we'll... I would like nothing more. <laughs> so anybody in the towing business back in the day is going to need a chain, spare parts, and a strap, extra water pump. One of my favorite things about the interior of the truck is um, this isn't a diss on Brian's dad, who obviously purchased a very fine automobile, but I think there was probably an option for two sun visors. Like, you probably could have got two sun visors. And you can look at the dash and see that there were clearly other gauges that you could have had. And Ford actually designed the block off plate just to make sure you knew all the time that you had chosen not to get the other gauges. And also, there, there are no armrests. I mean, comfort is not, uh, not addressed here. It doesn't even have a heater, right? No heater, no defroster. <laughs> which I think is pretty weird for an emergency vehicle. Well, I mean, you know, clearly he was the only one driving it, so if he was uncomfortable, he has only himself to blame. <laughs> what, about, uh, what about this tire, Ilana? Well, I know you're very proud of the tire, Tom, I'm so very why don't you proud. tell people well, about this, it? This tire is the original 1965 BF Goodrich Silvertown. Does it say Silvertown? It does say Silvertown on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just like Joe Dirt's. That town he went to, it's just like that. I think it's pretty <laughs> cool because these, these tires were on the truck when we got it. And I had to take them off. What on earth made you think about Joe Dirt while we were looking at this fine truck? Uh, I think it's the sheen. We haven't discussed uh, the credit cards it takes. You see Master Charge? The old uh, black and yellow California plate. It's a Holmes Wrecker body, a model 400 RW. And uh, I do have a good fact to, uh, for you about Holmes, which is that um, that is who invented tow trucks in 1916. Wow, Ernest Holmes. Ernest Holmes, and this is an Ernest Holmes body, so. Cool. We're connected. <laughs> and the first tow truck that he did was a Cadillac. Wow, this is not a Cadillac. Oh, it's just like a Cadillac. You could still see uh, some of the Chevron blue here. I mean, when this truck was new, it was lettered up with Chevron decals and and uh, blue paint, blue and white. Here's the uh, the Universal Towing Sling, Ernest Holmes. It's like a very difficult thing to operate. Well, and you have actually towed. I have actually times towed with this multiple thing. vehicles with this, but it's very hard on a modern car because there's too much plastic. But you can do it if you had to. 
Well, let me see if I can remember how this works. Basically, the engine's running, it's all mechanical, you lower this whole contraption down, kind of, and then it goes like down and flat, and then this beam goes basically under the front of the car, maybe behind the radiator, before the oil pan, just try not to smash things. Well, it all, that all depends on your towing driver's skills, where it goes. And uh, <laughs> then you get these little chains off the side, and you wrap them around something, hopefully not something that's going to bend. You forgot about the hooks. There, there's hooks you need. Over here, you have to have these, uh, these are like Friday the 13th kind of towing hooks. You see that? You can hang some meat on that. This is what you put on the suspension of your car you're gonna tow to uh, hook it up. Or, you know, if you're like many of the people who towed our cars in their past, you just wrap it around like the shocks or something. You know, there's probably some tow truck guys watching this video. They're gonna be like, you guys don't know nothing about using that sling, <laughs> which could be true. You can see the Ernest Holmes uh, yeah, badge look, right there. Look at that. So, can you Chattanooga, it? Tennessee, where tow trucks were invented in the States. Yeah, look at that. These are uh, reflectors for the accident scene. I don't have the key to this for some reason. There's an air tank for airing up customers' tires. Uh, this little rack is where the jumper cables go. This uh, little bracket thing is for the old gas station. They had like a cash box and the manual credit card slide goes there. Actually, Brian's dad is looking for this. He thinks uh, <laughs> he may still have it. <laughs> oh. All kinds of emergency lights. Yeah, you want me to turn the lights on for you, Tom? Sure. I think you need to turn the key on, though. We don't want kids playing with the lights. So the flashers are pretty cool. I mean, uh, if you saw that, you'd be like, wow, we got to exercise caution here. You would definitely be like, it is time to wreck slow. <laughs> As opposed to the fast wrecks. This is going to be a slow wreck. <laughs> I've driven this truck. It would be a slow wreck. Why don't we talk about uh, driving this truck? What does it seem like? Let's talk about the engine first. Oh, the engine. All right. Yeah. Come on. Priorities. I'm going to turn our lights off. All right. You can see the wheel is a two-piece wheel. They're not, uh, they're not widow makers. I don't know exactly what what this particular style of rim is called, but they are a two-piece, and you should probably exercise caution around them if you don't want to die. Oh, here's a sticker. We gotta get the Chevron Custom Gasoline sticker. I have some of those NOS. If anybody's got more, we're gonna need them for the restoration if it ever happens. Ready? All right, engine time. Whoa. It's actually a really big engine. What is this it's thing? a 352 V8, but um, <laughs> the engine bay is so big that it looks kind of small in here. So we are bragging a sweet 208 horsepower. Nice. And uh, there's been a cat in here. There has been a cat in here. Those footprints, the evidence. Single pot master cylinder. Oversized uh, radiator. Can you guys see how big that radiator is? I mean, it's really look here's a me for um for a scale. comparison i mean it's really an oversized radiator for this i guess for a tow truck that's what you want um there's no modernization it still has ignition points uh old-fashioned all dater everything it's a is a nice new distributor cap though i mean, I, I did do it too this engine has a lot of hours of idling because uh, brian's dad would move it out of the gas station every day and park it on the street for 30 years that he owned the gas station. Well, we didn't talk about the door. It has the gas station written on well, it. Well, that's because you got so excited to talk about the interior that you didn't let me finish my story All about right, I'll Brian's shut up. dad. I'll shut up now. Brian's dad bought the truck and he used it for a few years um, to bring uh, to bring customers to the gas station, right? Like he would get a call and he would go pick up a, a car and bring it to the gas station and he would fix it there. But eventually the gas station just got so busy on its own that he stopped needing new customers and that's why he sort of had the truck but didn't really use it as a tow truck on a daily basis anymore. But we do have one story from Brian about its use in the 90s, um, which is that 
Brian, who had a job delivering Italian food, crashed his Mustang into a ditch and he had to call his dad to come rescue him. And his dad got there and Brian gets out of the, the ditch and he's covered in red and his dad's freaking out and he's like, it's marinara sauce, man. It's marinara sauce. It's, it's all good. So, no worries. Anyway, I believe that until we got this and started towing our neighbors around, whether they like it or not, that was the last job it had. Chevron Towing Service. Don't call the number. I have no idea if it's still active. <laughs> this was a Chevron station in Hollywood. Oh, we didn't, uh, here is more, more excitement. This is the, uh, the dealer that sold him the wrecker body. He bought the cab and chassis Ford truck and then they put the wrecker body on it. All, all at this place in LA. Comes with the legit fire extinguisher. Looks like it uh, needs to be recharged. I believe that would make it an illegitimate fire extinguisher. Well, it, I guess, okay. <laughs> All right, we could drive it. So, we're gonna take it right along. Ah, it's not. After, after Ilana damages the hood. It's it takes multiple hands, there you go. Yeah. That sounds solid, doesn't it? All right, let's go for a drive. rules to it you know and then if you don't remember the rules you look like a doofus all right all right ready yep do i need the choke no i think it's probably warm enough it has a, a ford etzel exhaust leak we might be able to pick that up <laughs> we can't fix everything all the time so we'll just accept that for now i just you know Part of its what charm. gear? What gear is that, Ilana? You think that's third? No, I was asking. I think that's first. All right, parking brake. I feel like this truck was not designed for tow truck drivers of my size. All right, I hope it's uh. It's a good view for you guys because uh, all right, so it. this is first gear and uh, it's pretty much ready for second. All right, the highway, open it up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. are getting sick by my my camera work i'm just kind of holding it here yeah we're gonna work on we're gonna work on tom's camera skills after we watch this and my you know tow truck driving skill there we go yeah by the way uh top, top speed of this truck is about 55 miles an hour it has a 513 limited slip rear end you're driving like a Le Mans capable power plant? Absolutely. I mean, this like the, 352 eventually became the 427 and, uh, you know, the camera and everything that happened after that. I think this is the first year for this engine in, the, in a Ford truck. What like, was it in before this? Uh, well, cars, but the 352 in trucks, I think 65 was the first year. So this is really a treat, isn't it? It could have been a six cylinder. <laughs> oh, here's some. Here's oh, a, look at the competition. Here, let's see. Let's we, see. We show them what, what's up. There, there's some modern, a modern tow truck right there. 
I don't think he's so jealous. I don't think they're quite impressed like they should have been. I mean, if I were them, I would have been like, you know what? Let me let me just get on the back of that. Don't wait for these people. We're an emergency vehicle. <laughs> Push them out of the way. You did you did straighten out the uh, push bumper. I don't want to damage it. I hope you guys are picking up the sound of this truck because it sounds like like the past. Like when I ride in this thing, it reminds me of being a kid. <laughs> you mean your childhood spent as the tow trucks? In, in, a, in a stick shifted uh, old transmission. Yeah, this is the sound that they were. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. You got more, Tom? Well, I. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? If we don't get killed pulling on the traffic here. I got this. Although that might be better footage. I'll keep the camera rolling. Yeah. All right, there you go. We're grabbing <laughs> yours. I think we're going to call that a wrap. What do you think, Elon? I think we're done. Yep.